Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. At the end of last month, I posted letting you know that Google will soon block apps from unverified developers, which could be the end of sideloading on Android. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked starting next year, Android will require all apps to be registered by verified developers in order to be installed by users on certified Android devices. Check the video out for more info. Now, I did notice after posting that video that this latest decision from Google wasn't met with the most positive review. And there were quite a couple of comments on the channel that were not in favor of this next move. And just to let you know that F-Droid has now hit out against Google for this so-called controversial app distribution policy change, saying that it could mean the end of the open source app ecosystem on Android. And F-Droid, in case you're unaware, is one of the biggest alternative app stores and basically focuses on privacy and free and open source apps and has said that it cannot comply with the new measures by Google. Now this is all according to this article, which it has published on its website, where F-Droid explains, and by the way, I'll leave this article linked in the description if you'd like more info, where it explains how it's not hosting open source apps at its repository. The source code, it says, of the apps are inspected to ensure that they don't contain advertisements, trackers, and so on. And it's only after an app passes this inspection that F-Droid build service compiles the app and packages and signed with its own cryptographic key, or in some cases, using the developer's own key. After this, the apps are distributed as APKs. This is why app updates on F-Droid tend to be delayed by a day or two. According to this post, check it out. It'll be linked in the description. Now, the whole reason for Google making this change is, as I mentioned in that previous video, check it out if you'd like more info, that Google says that its measures are intended to increase security against malware. Because side loading of apps is known in some cases to introduce malware into apps and different products and services. And what F-Droid has to say about that, if we scroll down to this section, the security canard, it says, while directly installing or side loading software can be construed as carrying some inherent risk, it is false to claim that centralized app stores are the only safe option for software distribution. Google Play itself has repeatedly hosted malware, proving that corporate gatekeeping doesn't guarantee user protection. And I do agree with that. By contrast, F-Droid offers a trustworthy and transparent alternative approach to security. Every app is free and open source. The code can be audited by anyone. The build process and logs are public and the reproducible builds ensure that what is published matches the source code exactly. It also says this transparency and accountability provides a stronger basis for trust than closed platforms while still giving users freedom to choose Restricting direct app installation not only undermines that choice, it also erodes the diversity and resilience of the open source ecosystem by consolidating control in the hands of a few corporate players. And if we scroll down to this section, it says, if you own a computer, you should have the right to run whatever programs you want on it. This is just as true with the apps on your Android phone, mobile device, as it is with the applications on your Linux, Mac, Windows, desktop, or server. And then F-Droid has basically said at the end of this article, it's urging regulations and authorities to protect developers, alternative app stores, and open source apps from such restrictive schemes. And they're also calling developers and users to escalate the matter to the local authorities, sign petitions, and ask the European Commission Digital Markets Act team to help preserve open distribution. So, I'm going to ask you, do you have the right to run what you want on your own device, be that a computer or a handheld device like a phone, mobile phone, Android, iOS, and so on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And obviously, this is causing a little bit of debate. Um, as mentioned in that previous video, this could be the end of side loading on Android. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Always interested to hear. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.